So hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is part two of the visit to the Kent Owl Academy where we were shooting uh, owls and other birds of prey and also some other animals as well, which you'll see in a second, um, using the Sony A7R3, the Sony A9, the RX10 Mark IV, and including the 135G Master Lens and the 100-400G uh, Lens as well. As you can see here, first first bit is a slow motion clip, or two clips actually, uh, using the RX10 Mark IV, 500 frames per second. Uh, a little bit of difficulty because we're shooting straight up into the sky where we've got a lot of backlit leaves, so you can actually see a little bit of um, distortion through there. But other than that, it's pretty good. Um, this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black, actually. Um, just with a large eagle owl. He was pretty cool. He um, was just flying about and um, coming for food and things like that, so I put the GoPro on the table. Shows how large he is. Um, that's a good-sized park bench um, there. Which is really cool. Um, lovely, beautiful animal. He was so cool. He was very, very um, vocal. Um, but his wingspan was huge. Um, as you see me, me working around there. But um, we got some really cool shots of him in flight, obviously, with the slow motion. Um, and even now, he just takes off as I walk around with the GoPro. It's just really, really cool bird. Um, he also loves running. So here's a shot of him actually on the ground running, um, which... I don't think it's been captured before like that anyway, so it's really cool. It shows how big his talons are and his claws. Um, but yeah, keep watching. Um, the father and son, <laughs> and then the two girls. Cool. Yeah, Hello. We used to have two other females before these two. Uh, one we had to put down, and then the other one was their daughter and um, sister. Yeah. And the female's always boss. Okay. So she naturally would want to step up. Meaning they all want to breed with her and we didn't want it into breeding. Okay. So we um we swapped them for two of the inputs. We've gone through there. Right. <laughs> They're friendly, but Jump not, down there. Yeah. But not like I don't know what you think friendly, that they'll come over to you. Um but you put your thing in and bite off, so you know. <laughs> So the meerkats were hilarious, um, as I, they are pretty friendly, but also they will try and rip your finger off if you're not careful. Um, trying the A7R3 out with its eye autofocus um, with the animals. It did work a little bit um, on the meerkats, but then obviously just gave up and went back to normal. Um, but no real problems there anyway. Uh, this is the RX10 Mark IV at wide angle, so the, the meerkat's nose is like about half a centimetre away from the lens. It was really, really close. He was actually inquisitive looking inside the lens hood. Uh, so I got a couple of shots there, and then obviously went back to trying to find these mealworms in there um, so all their cameras we were using all have their strengths and um, it was really nice to be able to actually you know use all of them um, to get the shots we really wanted this is a meerkat but it's it was so bright I could actually shoot a really high shutter speed so actually to get a, a silhouette shot of a meerkat it's kind of cool and even the little hairs and everything kind of stick out nicely which is just a bit different that was all um, this is one of the shots that did work with the eye autofocus and is really nice and sharp and it I mean, to be honest, it works fine anyway, even if you have the uh, either wide or um, spot focus on anyway. And then we got onto the snakes. Um, this one here, um, I'm using actually the 24mm Lauer probe macro lens, so it's up to 2 to 1 macro, which is, I think I'm set almost at 1.5 macro there. Um, with LED lighting, you can actually just about see the, th the sort of nine little LEDs reflecting in its eye. Um, and there you can see it's lit. But it really does make, I mean, this lens here is set to the minimum um, focus, uh, sorry, minimum aperture is f14. So you need the light. And if it's a bright sunny day, you're fine. If not, you have got the LEDs just to help you. There it is there. You can see how long it is um, and how close I am. Um, we were trying to get a shot of the, with the tongue out, which we eventually we did, we did get um, a few shots. So um, with this lens, it is very hit and miss. You've got to be bang on with the focus. Um, and to get it right but for video it works really well as well um, it's also waterproof so you can stick it in the water uh, this next um, uh, snake was a different matter he was quite quick uh, wanted to keep moving all the time so they're a little bit more difficult to photograph especially with this lens but I persevered a little bit um, and this was quite cool I quite liked it because he just literally just scrubbed himself right down the side of the lens as he went past so you can see all the scales 
which worked really nicely. And that's me down on the ground. Um, John's taking a picture, and that shows you how quite big the snake was. It's quite a large one, but it did did want to keep moving, which was uh, I kind of expected it to, but not not quite as quick as it wanted to. So here's a little bit of slow motion of the the snake. We're holding it up. It was just sort of uh, thing. We just wanted to get its tongue coming out. We've got those in slow motion there at 500 frames per second. So that's gone in and out already ages ago. Um, but as you can see, they're moving around quite quite well. And it's bloody really long. I'm surprised how much longer it was than the, there's the little black snake we saw earlier. Uh, here's the African bullfrog. He just didn't want to play ball. Put him down. We, I was trying to get shots of him. We put him into the uh, a water bowl. Sat in there for about three seconds and decided that was it, going out. So yeah, literally just turn around. Not want the camera in my face at all. I'm just going to stick my bum at you. So we kept moving around and he just didn't want to play ball. So I'm going to go back and redo some other things. So the bullfrog, a couple of other bits and pieces, um, and uh, retake some. But it's still quite a cool character, um, which is quite funny. But he literally say he just wasn't interested. Um, it would have been really cool to be able to get a really nice shot of the reflections of him in water, but he just wasn't bothered. Um, so not playing ball at all there, which is a real shame. Um, but again, this is using the um, RX10 Mark IV for this, just because it was easy and quick. And you can zoom in and out quite well without having to worry too much. Um, as you can see, there, the depth drops off quite nicely. Um, and then back on with the A7R3 with the wide angle probe lens to try and get some shots. So ideally, I wanted to go half in water and half out. Um, to get a bit of his, you know, to get his feet and everything underwater, and and then, but he just wasn't playable. Literally held him down like so, and then let go, and then about two seconds later he was out of the uh, out of the water. So real shame. But like I say, I'm gonna redo some shots. Uh, next time I go back up there, um, is one of John's one of John's shots there. The um, yeah, I mean it was it was just funny. He, he literally just for something so big and sort of thing you think wouldn't be particularly manoeuvrable, but he just obviously just wanders off. As you can see there, I'm trying to get a shot, and he's just, nah, I'm off, see you know. So that was quite funny. Um, but I've never seen one that, that close. I've seen one in the zoo before, and, you know, miles back in the back of a um, their sort of uh, place where they live or whatever. Uh, this thing here, kind of like a hedgehog. I think it comes from the hedgehog family. Um, and uh, very funny. Really cute kind of thing. Very furry. Um, almost blind, apparently. And... He just loved the mealworms. He was just properly munching. Um, and uh, I'm sure Molly will leave a comment below because I can't remember the, the name of this for love of money. Um, but really, really funny. He just just constantly wants to eat those little mealworms. It's probably like munch, munch, munch. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really kind of a, di a bit of a different animal. Never really expected to see something like that. Never seen one before. Uh, as you can see, the mealworms and everything uh, there. And uh, yeah, so he was just happy having a bit of lunch. Um, but uh, yeah, no, that was really, really quite funny. Just using his nose and everything, and eventually he just wandered off and found some more mealworms and uh, way it went, sort of thing. So that was that was kind of cool. Um, just to say, just a very different animal. The the amount of animals they have got, not or not or all on view. So if you did turn up to the Kent Life and actually have a look around, and you have having to walk down to have a look at the owls and everything. A lot of these are obviously not on view. Um, right, onto the tarantulas. So we had this one here, which um, John snapped over the um, shot I was taking. Um, didn't like the lights. So that light coming out the front of the lens, it didn't like. So we reverted to doing a little bit of slow motion video. So we dropped a cricket in and uh, it had lunch. So you can see its big fangs come out in a second and have, uh, have a nice chomp on that uh, cricket there. There's a big fangs come out now. Um, but again, we're going to try and do some more of these as well. But unfortunately, you can't predict what an animal is going to do. You, you know, you can't control them 100%. You put them down, you let them do what they want to do, um, and uh, that's it. So a lot of the animals, you're kind of restricted on how much um, you can actually feed them because they will only eat one thing, or you know, for example, and that'd be it for a few, a little while. So um, here's a little baby owl that's being hand reared. Um, it's a Ural owl. Um, looking forward to seeing that when it's a lot bigger and grown up, which should be interesting. Um, here's a little bit of video of it being fed. Um, so that was just a video of seeing a few of the other things we got up to that day. Um, we spent about eight hours there, I think, um, a bit non-stop, but um, really, really good and uh, really lovely to uh, work with Molly and her team. 
and uh, so check out the Kent Owl Academy um, and please don't forget to subscribe and click notification bell I'll see you soon